Hey guys, here's another little video of the grid tie inverter. These amps are from wind. These amps are total from solar and wind. These amps are going into a 250 watt grid tie inverter. I thought it was 17 to 24 volts to power it, but this meter over here says 14.2, so I would say it's probably 14 volts to power it. It sits here pretty steady at 7 amps. My wind turbine just goes through this amp meter so I can tell how much, how many amps I'm getting from that. And like I said, this gauge is combines the two. You see it climbing a little bit. It's climbing up now. Which means that the wind turbine's turning. You see the bolts are going up also. 15. Amps are up. Oh, I missed it. Oh. The wind amps are climbing. Combined amps were climbing. And the voltage. Now the wind turbines slowing down. About seven amps. It's just from the solar. Yeah, the wind turbine's pretty much stopped now. It's a pretty windy day. Alright. Just hoping the wind would pick up one more time just so I could get some amps shown here from the wind. Oh, there they go. A little bit. Eh, it's about four amps. I seem to have some real dirty wind today. Seems to be twisting my turbine around circles out there. Here's your wind amps. And there's your combined amps. Going up. There's your voltage. Windy and sunny. Pretty rare. Around here, you know. Okay, wind amps are up to about 4 amps. And combined amps are up 8. So basically, when this voltage starts to climb, that means my wind turbine to put an amperage out. And also with this amp, this is combined, so. Pretty fun little project. Something to mess around with. Here goes the wind. Six amps. And we got nine and a half amps. And we got fifteen volts, somewhere around 150 watts, give or take. All right, guys. Just figured I'd show you that. I posted a video earlier, but I didn't really get too deep into it. All right. Thanks for watching.